Welcome back. Today in this video, I wanted to show you how to share and clone a project using IntelliJ. Now I know that there are many developers out there who have a preference when it comes to the IDE that they like using. And what I wanted to do is just show you how to share and clone a project using IntelliJ. In my previous video, I showed you how to share and clone a project using Eclipse. And I just simply wanted to show you how to do the exact same thing using the IntelliJ IDE. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, so for the first part of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to share a project on GitHub using the IntelliJ IDE. So the first thing that we want to do is create a new project. Then from there, we're just going to be creating ourselves a simple Java application. Go to next, next, and then up here, we just want to name our project. going to name it tutorial Praj. go to finish and from there it should take a little bit of time to load up but not too long and as you see on the left side here we have we have this sidebar here if we expand tutorial Praj, um, you can actually see the project structure that we have here and what we want to do first is create ourselves a class. So we want to go to source, right click, new, and Java class. Name our Java class. I'm going to name it app. Hit OK. And then from here, we'll be presented with our app class. Now, what I want to do now is just simply add a main method and some code within that main method. And I'm going to go public static void main and then string array args and then from there I just want to simply print out system.out.println and we want to do instead of hello world let's just say goodbye world something different just want to save this and now what we want to do is just simply run this class so we can just right click run app.main compiling right here loading everything up then from here we get goodbye world alright so we have our application on our machine now we have to figure out how we're going to go about sharing our application to github by using IntelliJ but before we get to that, I want to show you guys something. If you go up to File and then go to Settings, um, and, um, the first thing that you need to do here is actually go to Version Control and then go to GitHub. And then from there, you just want to add in your login credentials for GitHub if they're not already there. So... Add that in right now. All right, connection is successful, which basically means that this account on GitHub exists. Um, and another thing I wanted to talk about was this ignored files. Now, if you've seen my last video, I've talked about how to use the git ignore file to ignore the files that you don't want to be committed to your local or your remote repository. So currently I have some files in here that I'm not going to be adding to my um, commit whenever I go about committing um, files. So I have it. Um, I have all the files r right here. So you can add files here by simply going to this plus icon here. And then from here you have the ability to ignore specified files, ignore all files under a specific folder or ignore all files that match a specific regex. So if you go to ignore specified files, you can simply go here and it takes you straight to the project that you're in. And then from there, you can expand um, different folders. And then from here, you can just simply select which files you don't want to have committed um, 
to your local repository or your remote repository. You can just simply choose them here, one by one. You select the file, go to OK, and then it should be populated in this this box right here and then you press OK and that file that specific file that you selected here will be ignored. Now if you're working with the second option you want to ignore all files under a folder so if there are an entire folder of files that you don't want present within the file within this project actually during a commit you can just select the folder and all the files under a specific folder will not be added to your commit and then from here you just simply have the ignore all files matching and then from there you can just from here you can just simply enter in a regex expression um, it, um, defining the type of files that you do not want added to a commit alright so we're done with this now what we're gonna do is go back to our application we've already ran it and it seems to be working properly get goodbye world down here and from here what we want to do now is actually share this project on github now it's done in a slightly different way than it is in eclipse but it's very simple what you want to do for is first of all go up to this vcs and then import into version control and then select share project on github after that you want to enter in your master password if you don't know what your master password is you can simply go to reset to reset um, whatever your master password is um, so um, you can go about doing that if you don't know the password to this go to OK and then from here we're just gonna name this tutorial Praj repo so what we have here is a dialog box and this dialog box is titled share project on github we have a field here new repository name and one good thing about IntelliJ is that you have the ability to create your repositories on GitHub right here in IntelliJ. So instead of actually going to GitHub and pressing this button, going to new repository and actually creating yourself a new repository, you have the ability to do everything right here. So simply, you can enter in a new repository name and it's pretty much going to be the name of your local repository as well as the remote repository on github so after we do this we just wanna go to share just loading some things down here see how long this is alright now as you can see here these are all the files that are going to be pushed to our remote repository in GitHub. So um, these are all the files that I'm going to be committing. Um, right here we have our commit message. So this is this is somewhat similar to Eclipse, where we have the ability to select the files as well as add our commit message before we actually push this to a remote to a remote repository. So after we have all this information in, you can also go through here and select any files that you don't want to be added and then down here we have our commit message and then from here we can just go to OK perform a commit pushing the github master and as you can see here successfully shared project on github tutorial Praj repo so let's go back to github and as you can see Let's go back here. Okay, so we have our, our repositories down here. Then, if we just simply refresh the page, you see our tutorial Praj repo, which is the repo that we created in IntelliJ. And right here, you actually can see the structure of this project in IntelliJ that we just created. You go into source, app.java, and then right here, you can see goodbye world. The code that we already have an IntelliJ goodbye world so that's how you'll go about sharing a project on github using the IntelliJ IDE alright guys so for the second part of this video I'm simply going to be showing you how to clone a project from github into IntelliJ 
So whenever we go about cloning a project from GitHub, the number one thing that we need is this URL right here. So this is going to be the um, the repository that we're going to be using, Tutorial Proj Repo. We have a project that already exists within this repository. But the most important thing is this URL. Now this URL is going to give us a connection um, to this remote repository. So I'm going to show you how to clone a project from GitHub into IntelliJ. So let's do that right now. All right, so the first thing we want to do is open up IntelliJ. Just loading right now, just give it a second. All right, and we're going to be presented with this screen. We get to the screen, we just simply want to go check out from version control. We then want to choose GitHub. And we just want to enter in our master password. All right, now after we do this, you can see that this git repository URL field is already populated. We have coding interview 100 and then the actual repository. And then I just want to test this to make sure that it's connected properly. Connection to repository tutorial proj repo has been successful. Hold OK. And as you can see here, this is going to be the parent directory, our desktop and our actual project is going to be located in this folder which is going to be located on our desktop called tutorial proj repo and simply after that we just want to go to clone would you like to open this project go to yes this expand this sidebar our projects and then from there we just want to go this is so right here is our project structure we're going to open up source we're going to double click this and as you can see here this is our actual project that we have so um, this is the code down here, system.out.println, goodbye world. We just simply want to run this and make sure everything's working properly. Run app.main. I'm going to take some time to compile and load up. But pretty much we have cloned this application into IntelliJ from GitHub. And as you can see here, after we've run it, we go good. We have good Vi world right here, and you can start working on your application. And that's pretty much how you'll go about cloning a project from GitHub into IntelliJ. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something from here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And see you in the next one.